Warning! This film shows people having fun. Some of it may not be politically correct. If you're of the snowflake persuasion, please turn away now. Welcome back to another Obsession Engineering uh, weekend vlog and another trip to Oliver's Mount. Uh, we're one by down this time because we sacked Chad for being too short. So it's just me on me twin and me 750 and Martin, who bought his own motorbike. Woo! Um, Generator's noisy. Yeah, Martin's also got a new generator, which is the noisiest thing in the world. But we can run the whole paddock off it, so it's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, we're not far off morning warm up sort of time. We're just getting the last few little bits ready. And then we'll go ride some motorbikes in the dry. Straight in after the first session and we've taken them off to the front calipers because they used to drag when they were hot. Now they don't! Woohoo! My, my cameraman's doing this to me and I thought he was just swearing at me. I was. Oh. oh. Right, well we've just done the first session on the twin. Uh, compared to last time, last time we had a tuned engine in with big cams and coming out the really slow hairpins it's a little bit flat at the bottom of the rev range and it had a big uh, close ratio gearbox with a tall first gear, so it was a little bit flat out of the hairpins. So for this meeting we put a standard engine in, which to be fair is still 83 horsepower out of the twin, and it's got a standard gearbox. But we're on the same gearing to try it, and um, first gear is a bit short now, uh, to the extent of it sort of backing into the um, last hairpin and bits, and a couple of places I'm just revving a little bit too high in one gear. So we're just, uh, we're going from a 47 uh, rear sprocket to a 46, so I'll just make it a little bit taller so I can use first gear in a little bit more uh, places. So, got the boys working. Don't they look happy? Smile! Squish! Squish! And of course we're fully professional as ever. Right, it's lunchtime on Friday now, so we've done sort of two practice sessions on both bikes. The twin, I'm just struggling a little bit to get it to feel how I want it. Um, it's, it's a bit odd because where the weight sits in the bike, there's not a lot of weight over the rear, so into the air pins, it's trying to back in a little bit. And I'm just struggling a little bit with the feel on the front end of it. Um, but then I jump on the 750. <laughs> Good Adam's here. So then I jump on the 750, and, it, and it's great, there's just so much feel from everything. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the gearing's a little bit short, so you crack the throttle and it just sort of stands up like halfway out the corner. Uh, so I'm going to gear it at two uh, different, but yeah, I think it's going alright. <laughs> See, we can actually do quite professional here. We've got the boys just tweaking gear linkages so that everything runs nice and straight and true and we we'll get a more positive gear change on Martin's bike. He's done quality in the last uh, practice session. Uh, he got stuck in a bit of traffic in quality, so not his best session. But we're going there step by step with the bike as well. So he's got another quality session to pull his finger out. And here we have the lesser spotted bike racer in his natural habitat, watering the plants. Are you ready for your last session? Your last, yeah. last quality. You're gonna pull your yeah. finger out. Yeah, I've got to beat David. So what, what you got? The official qualifying time to beat is a 159, not me on the 750. Uh, I did a 57 earlier, but don't count it one in quality. So that's the target, Martin. 58. Well, lad. Good lad. Maybe. So Martin has just done his last qualifying session. It is first time sub two minutes, Martin. Say something good. Should we maybe try that again? Should we, no, let's just keep it in. It's still rolling. Go, go, go. 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 <laughs> Just on the last uh, quality session on the 750, no idea if it was actually any faster, but got dice with one of the lads that I end up normally racing with anyway. And it was good, it was good crack, it was just, yeah, good fun. The bike was really good, so yeah. We should be good fun for elbows out tomorrow.
Good morning and welcome back to Oliver's Mouth, where guess what? It's rained overnight. Uh, luckily it's fairly windy and it's meant to be dry all day, so we're not going to bother with morning warm-up. Well, probably not. Uh, and uh, yeah, so hopefully it'll be dry later. And remember, boys and girls, always buy your stuff from B&C Express. It's actually a bit of a disaster, the rain, because our hospitality area is now flooded. I mean, where am I meant to sit to eat my cereal now? Oh no. So, just done the first race and I made the wrong tyre choice. i have done the last practice on the 750 and I thought it was still going to be wet, but it dried out surprisingly quickly because it's windy and actually fairly warm today. And I went out and wet some of my twin and it was the wrong choice. Uh, and I had a bad start as well, so after the end of the first lap, I threw my toys out and I probably pulled in. A uh, bit annoyed, it's years since I've actually pulled in in a race, I think. So, yeah, a bit crap. But the boys are grafting, changing tyres and everything. And uh, yeah, we've got three more races today, so I'll put my big boy pants on and we'll have a go. Last night on Martin's bike, because it was bought me the forks out, we've actually changed fork springs. Nice and easy to do on proper race kit forks. So we've gone up from a 95 to a 10 weight spring on his. So it's all very professional stuff, just trying to squeeze that last little bit of performance out of his bike for him. So Martin's first race has got a red flag, so he gets another go at it, which isn't a bad thing because his first start wasn't brilliant. Let's see if he mans up a little bit and does a better job this time. So Martin's had to pull in because uh, yet another bit of his bike wasn't done upright. Uh, admittedly we haven't touched that bit, nope. so we'll uh, lock tie all that back together and get him back out for the next one. A bit more disappointment this morning. So we're just waiting for the uh, parade at lunchtime. John McGuinness is riding around his uh, TT Bromwich Kawasaki Superbike. Uh, Chad managed to lose his touch because he's actually sat on the step without a bike to ride for the so he's having a good day probably. Uh, he normally has something good to ride. So yeah, we're just waiting for the parade bike, which is a real nice exotica kicking around. So yeah, we'll see some of the sights smells of something really nice. Martin's back on the grid for his second race. His gear lever thing's all sorted out now, so he's just got to pull his finger out and go reap fast.
lad. 57, another second quicker after that. Right. <laughs> so Martin says, because Dave's now the slowest rider in the team, that uh, he deserves one of these. Martin. Right then, Rob. I'm just about to go out for the second two bike race. I think 155 is in a podium. What do you reckon? I think decent start and it. Right, so okay. Do, do you think at MotoGP this might be slightly more technical? No, they're just overthinking things. <laughs> Superbike race. Uh, I wanted, I really thought I could run podium, and I think I've actually got the pace you for it. it. Uh, Rob's Rob's correct guy, I did not say to myself well enough. Uh, my actual start was decent, I just I was in the wrong place a little bit first corner and got a little bit boxed out, and then I had to get past Andy Sailor, which was a fairly firm move, but you know, all right. Uh, and then got behind Adi Harris in the whole race, and he's really good on the brakes, and our bikes are even down the straights and bit so. Real good race. I nearly got him on the last lap, but he was just a bit defensive. And now it was good fun. Cracking, I think, was off fourth in the end. Fourth. Fourth. Yeah. fourth. That'll do. Fourth Podium nice. tomorrow. <laughs> Go. Woo. Uh, just on the twin race. Reasonable start. Got some reasonable laps in. I overtook a bit of people. I felt like an actual motorbike race. I thought I was going all right. Looked at the lap timer. Basically, the same I was doing in quali, but I thought I was going faster than that. And yeah, the gear change, gear selection is brilliant, and it's like, oh, just one of those things where you think you're going well, and then you realise you're actually not going that well. So, a bit more finger pulling out required on the twin tomorrow, 750's mint, uh, we'll have a barbecue, chill out a bit tonight, even treating that bike to a new tyre. First one it's had since Classic TT last year! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's alright, he's gone, Martin's gone well, um, the team are... Well, uh, Rob's, uh, Rob's uh, pretending to uh, to read and write down here. He is. I don't yeah. know where he's learned that from. I can well, just about the name, I'm pretending to read. I mean, I'd like to compliment them, but really, they're a bunch of... Welcome back to Oliver's Man for the last day of Gold Cup action. We had a really good day yesterday, so today we're going to go even faster. And, as a bonus, it's not wet. It is really windy, though, so it might be a bit exciting over the jumps. Never mind, we'll knuckle down and we'll have a go. And remember kids, Motul, the best lubricants you can get. First super twin race done. Uh, we start one bad, but then I got boxed in the first corner and then I uh, had a real scrappy lap where I missed a couple of gears and generally get me, didn't get me head into it. Uh, but then I got my head down and uh, I was a second lap quicker than yesterday. Uh, the big change we've done is I've uh, completely altered the fork settings. Um, so I'm a lot happier with those now. Uh, yeah, feels a bit more like my bike and a bit more fighty. Uh, I just, yeah, didn't get me the pack the first couple of laps, but not too bad. Looking forward to the 750 in a bit. 
Dunlop tyres, the best for grip. Martin's about to do his first race or something. Let's see if we can actually get a decent start for a change. For the first time in known history, it's actually sunny at Scarborough, and we're racing motorbikes. Isn't it great? Nice to see it. Just popped back on the grid for the uh, Sunday parade. It's a lap. We've got um, John McGuinness over there, and. Um, Mick Grant over there on a Marquez replica Moto 2 bike and some other people back near the back of the grid and uh, yeah, yeah, there's some, some lovely things to see out here. So we're back on the dummy grid for Martin's second race. Uh, we've totally put his finger out with his start, his lap times are good. So all he's got to do now is knuckle down. If he gets a good first corner, gets it with the boys in front of him, we know he can run the pace. He was actually fifth past his last time. So all he's got to do is really sort out his start. We know he can run the pace, he might even be able to push a podium if he really but he does well. We know he's got it in him. Come on, Martin, dig in. Oh, Martin. There's two more races to go, but the lads are, uh, you know, they've been grafting hard, so they've been allowed a chance to sit on the veranda. The wind, it has to be fair, has taken its uh, toll on the awning, but now the sun's out, it's chill out time. The bunch of slack. Literally just pulled up on the super, uh, fourth in that one, and I could see second. Just couldn't quite make a move on third. I really wanted a podium, but just didn't quite have the pace. But the bike's mega. Really enjoyed myself. I'm say 55 2. Yeah. So I've gone nearly a second quicker in that race just with having like a little bit of clearer track. And yeah, that was absolutely mega. Woo! Blue spark. Shark. Protect your head.
bit of a disappointing finish because you might be able to still hear the twin race going on. Uh, the bike started to have a bit of a misfire, so I pulled in at the SEs, turned it off, turned it back on, and it seemed all right. But by the time I got going, I was last, so I thought I don't want it to start misfiring again and somebody end up running me up the chuff or something. So pulled in, a little bit disappointing after the great success of the uh, 750, but never mind, that's racing, we're all in one piece. Uh, so now we get to pack up and go home. We're all packed, ready for the slightly boring drive home now, but at least we get to drive home in the sunshine. It's been a cracking weekend. The lads have done a good job. Martin rode really well. I'm really happy with how we went on the 750. A couple of tweets on the twin, but really, it's happy days. And what have you got to say, Adam? Welcome, new subscriber to the Obsession Engineering Facebook and YouTube. What's he going on? All right, Jazz. <laughs> Ooh, tasty.